this is a dream box. I do workshops for dream boxes. Sometimes people come out here, I'll have small groups, ladies will come out, and sometimes a daughter, mother group, or a bride, or it'll be somebody's birthday or anniversary, and we'll make a box for that special person. Everybody will contribute to one box, or individuals can make their own boxes. The top is representative of what you show the world, and the sides are your boundaries, and the bottom is your foundation, and the inside are your secret dreams and hopes, your aspirations, and so it's kind of a journaling exercise. And it's all found objects, little things that, like broken earrings and jewelry that you refuse to get rid of because it means something to you, and someday you're going to do something with it, but you haven't, and so this is a really good rescue for that stuff. You get to look at it every day. You put it somewhere where you see it so it'll remind you of all those thoughts that you had. It's all things that I found on the side of the road or on walks on our property. And um, we have a creek that rushes through from like Ferris and, and further up to Trinity. And it brings us things. <laughs> melted bottles that we sell for uh, soap dishes. You can put your little handmade soap dish in there. These are little tiny antique medicine bottles that we melted together just to, as an experiment for fun. And I also bangle things from them and make them light catchers. Here's another soap dish. This was a marshmallow cream jar. And I sell them with these little knives that are made out of bamboo, so it's sustainable. Romance fire starters are romance novels that I've taken the covers off of and used the covers on the cigar boxes. There's a big stack of cigar boxes over there, and I make uh, bedside love boxes with them and sell them to like condom scents and places like that for your little. Um, love potions yes. and stuff. <laughs> These start fires. They'll even start fires for like um, pinion. Pinion wood's really hard to start. And they smell good and because they're old, old books and they have that old ink that we don't use anymore, it snaps and crackles and fireworks. And it smells good because I use recycled candle butts that my friends give me. These are Altoid boxes. And they're good for carrying your medicine or your vitamins or secret notes to your lover. <laughs> Eastside Sally is a girl that just won't let go of the 80s. She loves the 80s. She was the, her most beautiful in the 80s, and so that's where she's going to stay. And, and she probably was some kind of exotic dancer and she bleaches her hair but she knows that it fries it and she doesn't want to cut it because she wants to have long hair and so she has roots once in a while and and there's a zipper that goes all the way around but never opens <laughs> and she loves her boyfriends but when when they've done her wrong, she finishes them off and... Oh, look, those, those are the sunglasses she lost in the 1979 Camaro. It's dreamy. What I get to do is just too terrible fun. Saving the planet one dumpster at a time.